Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to keep track of all your online subscriptions using your iPhone. Now I was just looking through my budget, and with my subscriptions to Netflix, Play Music, Amazon Prime, and Adobe CC, I'm paying about 60 bucks a month for various online services. And it's not something you generally budget for, because you're thinking, ah, it's only eight bucks, that's just a drop in the bucket when in reality, they can obviously add up fast. So if you're like me and all your subscriptions are starting to add up to a sizable bill each month, you might wanna look into an app called Billy. It's available for free on the iOS App Store, and it basically tracks online subscriptions as well as traditional bills automatically. So to try it out, search Billy by name and get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial to skip straight to the download page. Then when you run the app for the first time, you'll be prompted to allow or deny permission to post notifications. This is because Billy can actually give you a heads up when a bill is coming due. So if you'd like to use that feature, be sure to press OK here. From there, the app itself is actually pretty straightforward. To begin, tap the plus button in the top right corner to add your first bill or subscription. On this next screen, you'll see a list of many popular services, and all of these have preset templates with icons and custom colors. To select one of these options, all you have to do is tap it, or you could use the search function if you'd rather not dig through the list. Now I could show you the setup with something like Netflix, which Billy definitely has a template for, but to give you a better idea of how everything works, I've searched for a service that Billy doesn't already have queued up. So if that happens to you, just tap the Create button at the bottom of the search screen, then on this next menu, tap the Add Icon button. From here, you can select an appropriate icon to make it easier to keep track of things visually. Then when you're done there, you can tap color to add a custom color as well. At this point, the rest of the setup process will be exactly the same as it would be if Billy had a preset template for the subscription service you're adding. So from here, start by entering the monthly price you normally pay for this service. Tax included or the pre-tax amount, it doesn't matter because this is for your own reference. Then beneath that, you can add a description, set the billing cycle, and even adjust the duration of this bill. But the main thing you should hit up here is the first bill option. From here, just enter the due date of your next bill, and that will be the due date for any future bills as well. After you've taken care of that, you have the option of setting up a reminder for this bill. So if you'd like to be notified when it's coming due, tap the Remind Me option, then tell it how many days notice you'd like to have. Finally, to wrap things up, tap the Save button in the top right corner. Once you've set up your first subscription, just repeat this same process to add any more bills. The free version of Billy is limited to four subscriptions at a time but you can add as many as you'd like by unlocking the full version for 99 cents. As you can see though, the icons and color coding make it easy to tell which bill is coming up next, and the listings here will always be ordered by due date with the next bill at the top. Then, if you enable the Remind Me feature for any of these bills, you'll get a notification in advance, so it makes things a lot easier to keep track of. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.